Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 60 of the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. So this one is going to be about click events, and in the previous uh, video we did it inline, which um, is not something that's suggested. Um, I think the only time you would ever want to do it inline is if there was literally no other option for you adding the click handler, um, but you know, hey, do you and whatever your job and style guide suggests, that's what you should follow. So, all right, this one um, looks like you did the on click property and the add event listeners were the previous two videos, so this should line up pretty well. Um, we're going to use this add event listener. Um, we have two buttons, each has an ID, one has hello, one has goodbye, which is convenient. Um, when the hello button is clicked, and it looks like I didn't er erase my previous solution, so sorry about that. All right, so number one, grab button with hello ID, grab button with goodbye ID. So we'll do We'll do hello btn and that will be document dot query selector and again um you know you could have used uh get element by id um i just use the query selector because i just do again if anybody knows like a significant performance increase on that let me know um, but I can't imagine it's much thing as IDs should only be um, should only be on a page one at a time. So I don't really know how there could be a huge bump, but who knows? Um, so we got that. And now what we want to do is we want to do the add event listener. So again, you just watched the video, but let's assume your kids were bugging you, your husband or your wife was asking you a bunch of stuff. So let's just Google it real quick. And MDN's the first one, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to the code. This isn't helpful at all. A case sensitive string representing the event type. So we could do something like this. Um, and here's all the things that it could be, but I don't really care. I wanna go down to an actual thing. Um, those aren't any better. I'm gonna mouse up, that's fine. Um, okay, so now, now we're talking business. So here we want to do add event listener and we want to do a click. All right, um, modify text, that's just a callback function. So we don't really care about that, but we do want this part right here. So see if we can find something that isn't a predefined callback. Okay, so here, so we can still do a regular function, okay. All right, so we're calling this, and this is actually that, okay. Well, let's give it a shot, who knows. All right, so we have hello, btn.add event listener, and this will be click, and then we'll do We'll do this and then do the same thing, but we'll do with the goodbye button. And so now when it clicks, we're gonna run this function and what do we wanna do? All right, so we want to console.log hello and we want to console.log goodbye. All right, let's see what that does. And awesome, that works. So we have this add event listener. Again, the previous example, we did it in line. And here we're actually doing it dynamically where we're saying, hey, when some, when this thing, whatever this is, is clicked, do this stuff. And so I used arrow functions, but um, you know, you can still go, I, don't, I keep old school is not the right word, but you can keep going with the old way 
and this should still pass. So we have a couple different solutions there, but um, this is how you're going to want to add listeners, whether they're click listeners, whether they're hover listeners, whether they're mouse up, mouse down. I think there's key press, like key down, key up. There are a bunch of different listeners that you can use, and that's something that you want to research and look into yourself. Um, but I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next exercise.